Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be creating a masterboard and using that masterboard to make some tags. I am going to be making the masterboard today with a vintage fun market and this kit will be available in my shop and I will leave a link to where you can buy it down in the description box. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a look at what you get in the kit. So you get six tags, three white, three craft, a black and white photograph and some ribbon, a tea card and a bus ticket, uh, 15 stamps, a PHQ card and first day cover, an airmail envelope, some paper clips, three glassine bags and three craft coin envelopes. You'll get a little piece of a vintage sewing pattern, a couple of animal book pages, five word book pages, a couple of botanical pages, four music sheet pages, and two larger botanical pages and most of these items are vintage with just a couple of modern things in there and I'm just putting some of the things on screen that I'm actually going to use to make my masterboard and that is the brush that I'll be using that I forgot to put in the initial photo. So I'm just going to be using an A4 piece of cardstock that I have in my stash and I think it is 240 GSM and all I'm doing right now is using a ruler to trim down some of the papers and I'm just placing them on the page to get an idea of where I might like them. If you are unsure what a masterboard is, essentially it is just a large collage piece of paper or cardstock that can be used to make other things. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using it to make some tags. papers you want so you know I've got some vintage papers here I've even got some really thin sewing pattern paper I'm trying to keep the background quite neutral and then I will add in a few little things at the end that add a bit more color to it so that is what I'm going to work with I would have taken a photo on my phone but I'm filming on my phone so I'm just moving the pieces upwards just so I don't completely forget where things are going to go. So now I have an idea of where everything is going to go, I'm just taking my brush and applying a very thin layer of distressed collage medium onto the paper and then adding my piece of paper on top of that glue and then I'm going to be sealing on top of that as well with the same distressed collage medium just to make sure that it does stay in place and is properly adhered to the paper. This is the first time I'm using a distressed collage medium but you could use Mod Podge or something else if you don't have those available. It's the very first time I'm making a masterboard as well. I've never made one before, so I have absolutely no idea what it will turn out like. I mean, I do because I've seen the finished product, but right now in this bit of the video, technically I didn't know what it was gonna turn out like. So all I'm doing is roughly going around all of the outside of the paper and then I'll work my way in. I'm not sure there is a right or wrong way to make a masterboard. Like I said, I've not made one before so I'm just going with what feels right. Like I said, I'm trying to keep my masterboard quite neutral and then I will go in with a few pops of colour at the end. And as you can see, even with my idea at the beginning, I still have a couple of gaps, so I had to actually cut up a few more little bits and pieces to fill those gaps. I'm 
just going to be cutting out a couple of those butterflies that were on the butterfly book pages. And I'm pulling out the postage stamps and I'm going to see if I can work some of them onto the page as well. So what I'm going to be trying to do is try and use the same colours. So I'm trying to go with some blues, browns and yellows. Although I do believe that postage stamp with the tree on it is a bit more green in colour. It's just to try and keep it all a bit more cohesive and work well together. decided to cut this blue flower out of this botanical page. And now all I'm doing is using that same Distress Collage Medium to glue those little bits down in place. This is the finished master board. I'm going to leave it to dry and then once it's dry I'm going to cut off the excess paper around the edges. So our master board is now finished and you can use this to do whatever you like with. So as I mentioned earlier I am going to be making some tags. I am going to be using a die cutter machine to make my tags but if you don't have one of these you can use the tags from the kit and use that as a guide for cutting out your tags. So this is the die set that I'm going to be using and it's from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. Now don't do what I do and use your big shot on a silicone mat because it goes flying everywhere. So all I've done is cut the A4 card in half so it fits in the machine and I'm carefully placing the tag shape on the paper because I want to get as much out of it as possible and have as less wastage as possible. So as you can see the mat kind of moves quite a lot and I make this mistake every single time that I use my machine and then have to remove the mat. So all I'm doing is again placing the tag really carefully on the paper and putting it through the machine and look it doesn't move <laughs> this time. I do actually manage to get eight tags out of this A4 piece of cardstock. So I hardly wasted anything, which is really, really good. So I've just taken a brown craft tag from the kit and the whole reinforcement, and I'm gonna cut some of them out on my machine. just showing you what they'll look like. So these are the tags and I've made eight hole reinforcements. I'm going to be using this Distress Collage Medium which has an applicator tip which is perfect for smaller items and I'm going to be adding that to the tags. Uh, the reason I'm using the hole reinforcements is not only to reinforce the hole a little bit when the ribbon goes through but also because it just adds a little bit of decoration to the tag. I just really like the way that it looks, but if you don't want to do this step, you don't have to. I'd also like to apologise for the sunlight streaming in. You can't win in the UK, it's either really dark and gloomy and it's impossible to film, or you have sunlight streaming through which really interferes with filming. <laughs> so yeah, but I do close my curtains in a minute and it will be a lot better, there won't be the streaming sunlight. So I've closed the curtains and these are the finished tags. I'm just going to be adding some ribbon to finish them off. So all I'm doing is putting the ribbon through the tag, working out how long I'd like the ribbon to be, and then cutting that piece and then tying it all through the tag. And then once I've worked out how long I like it, I decide to cut the rest of the pieces the same length. 
two of the pieces are a little bit shorter than I'd like and that's because I was running out of ribbon because I had less than a metre of ribbon left. You will get 1.5 metres of ribbon in your kit so you'll have a bit more than I had here to work with. And these are the finished tags. I am so happy with how they've turned out. I thoroughly enjoyed making the masterboard and I highly recommend making one if you haven't made one before. I can't wait to see what other things I make with it, but I hope this video gave you some inspiration and ideas. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.